part of the GRDC grain storage extension team, Ben, we often talk about the benefits of aeration cooling. We do, Chris. We don't often always talk about how we power the fans. I think it's one of the major considerations when you're trying to plan a storage. So can you run us through some of the costs of generators versus, say, mains power? Yeah, absolutely. So when calculating the cost of running aeration cooling fans, the first thing to work out is how long the fans will actually run for. Controllers will typically do a cooling phase and then a maintenance phase. So in the cooling phase they'll run fans for 24 hours for the first 5 days, 12 hours for the next 7 days, so about 200 hours. From then on they'll run the fans for about 100 hours a month for maintenance mode. What we've got here is an example of how to calculate the cost of running aeration cooling fans. The important thing is to use your own numbers of power cost for your own situation. We haven't considered the setup cost of a generator or mains power. That's something that's going to be site specific. In this example, we've got five fans of 2.2 kilowatts, totaling 11 kilowatts. Using a mains power of 30 cents per kilowatt hour, multiplied by 11 kilowatts, divided by 1,500 tonne in that silo, we've got about 0.22 cents per tonne per hour. Multiply that by 200 hours to cool the grain down, and our cost is about 44 cents a tonne. For every month after that for maintenance, we're looking at about 22 cents per tonne. The only real difference with calculating the cost of running a generator is that we're looking at a fuel cost rather than power cost. So in our example we've used $12 an hour. That generator could cool down 5,000 tonne of grain, which means we're looking at a cost of 0.24 cents per tonne per hour. Multiplied by our 200 hours for cooling, give us about 48 cents per tonne. For every month after that, 100 hours a month, we're looking at 24 cents per tonne to maintain that grain at the cooler temperature. So the important thing is to use your own numbers when doing this calculation and figure out whether a generator or mains power is going to best suit your site. Thanks for that Chris and I suppose it's important in summary to crunch your own numbers uh, in addition to working out what might be the cost of getting power to site for your particular situation and plans. Uh, those numbers should be relative to your own aeration equipment and also the site that you're planning. That's right, and for more information, people can go to storedgrain.com.au or give one of the team a call on 1800 Weevil.